Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Swissman15 with another online battle for Medieval 2 Total War. This is actually a Teutonic expansion game where I am playing as the Teutonic Order and my ally, Captain Invisible, is playing as Lithuania. <laughs> Our opponents are Mr. Cube Sun playing as France. How unoriginal. Unoriginal. And over here we have Pike and Shop playing as Novgorod. 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 Yeah, that should be it. <laughs> Close enough, but uh, you got the gist. <laughs> Sorry for butchering. If you're from that place of uh, Novgorod, no Novgorod? I can't even, I can't do this. It just stop me. Well, anyway, it's a 2v2 on a boring map, <laughs> but you know, what are you gonna do? So we can just go over army compositions. Probably, uh, over here, I probably the most armored unit of spearmen you've ever seen in your life, the Teutonic Order Spearmen, or just Order Spearmen, which is, I, I really like this unit, I mean, I'm glad they have it. I forgot this unit over here, my clergymen, which is pretty much a Karakio standard without the standard, they inspire the troops around them with a pious fever. <laughs> this general's bodyguard, probably the sexiest general's bodyguard you ever lay your hands on, I mean, look at them. I mean, yeah, I want to be one of them <laughs> when I grow up. <laughs> Considering I'm almost grown up anyway. Anyway, <laughs> I have one unit of General's Bodyguard and then four units of Richter Booter, which is a really strong cav unit and really damn expensive nonetheless. And they have those awesome helmets of horns and um, I guess you could say they're horny. Uh, <laughs> I should stop speaking. <laughs> As for infantry, I have this dismounted Hal Booter. Oh god. With halberds, and then we have more dismounted uh, retributor, and then some sword brethren. They are your brothers with swords. And then two units of Brunner pikemen, Brika pikemen. And I have four units of little Livonian auxiliaries, which is like a crossbow unit. My noble ally, Captain Invisible. Wait, I can't see him. Ah, <laughs> bad puns. Um, he has two units of Baltic archers. I thought he wanted a little light on the archers there. He has three units of Sam Samagitian archers. Oh god. This, I'm sorry, I don't do this well. <laughs> he has four units of dismounted Bajorija. And I think that one is an arm. No. <laughs> I lied. And then for Cav, he has a few units of Chivalric Knights. How boring. <laughs> and his general's bodyguard way back here with the fancy Russian armor of fanciness. Um, for I more infantry, he has some dismounted Shivrick Knights with a different shield. Yay, different shield! <laughs> shield them from my horny Ritterbuter Knights. <laughs> Pike over here, he has a unit of Archibusiers. I don't know how to say that. A bunch of dismounted Voir, which is a great unit for melee and uh, missile. He has a few units of British Axemen. British accent. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Great unit, especially with the fixed two-handed two glitch over here. He has some Cossack Cavalry, Tsar's Guard, classic, and then Dismount Warrior Sun. So it's pretty much Russia from the regular game. He has a bunch of Tsar's Guard over here and Dismount Drusina and more Warrior Sons. The Frenchies, uh, he has four units of Aventurier, one unit of Archivuses. Over on his flank, he has two units of French Mount Archers, two units of Noble Knights, and his General's Bodyguard way over here. On each of his flanks, he has Swiss Pikemen. Yay, Swiss people! <laughs> Yay! And then he's a unit of Religious Fanatics, and for his core of his infantry, he has four units of Dismounted Chivalric Knights. So let's go ahead and play this little replay of goodness and greatness. So let's just fast forward to the point where I engage. Yeah, so I got my clergyman over here, and I send my troops up. Um, he kind of has to rush my ally, Captain Invisible, because he brought only two archers. Great move, man! <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, he, he was planning it. He, he had it all planned out. He knows what's going on, because he's Captain Invisible. His plan was to be have his, the rest of his archers are invisible, actually, and that is how it worked out. Um, I'm rushing on my... Uh, Livonian Auxiliaries, which is like, I forgot the definition of Auxiliary. Oh wait, it's um, an Auxiliary is a, a unit given to you by another faction. 
or another like state that's fighting for you, I believe, after reading The Prince by Niccolo Machiavelli. Um, Pike sends over some of his uh, Tsar's Guard, which I countercharge, but I'm getting eaten up by crossbow fire. Oh no, poor guys. Use your horny helmets. <laughs> They're too horny to fight. Uh, I need to stop with that joke. I get a nice charge into his um, poor little aventurers who are already shaking little wimps that they are. I'm sending the rest of my cavalry to take care of his noble knights and French archers, and I got my order spearmen to uh, help with that job. So I'm just rushing in my infantry because there's no time to wait. We got the great dismounted Ritabuter with their awesome clothing charging into these dismounted Shepherd Knights, and my uh, dismounted Halbuter is Halbuter charging these pike Swiss pikemen, which will be slaughtered by them. Um, over here we have Clyde and Cav and infantry. Um, the dismount war eating up these uh, poor axemen, but oh, this is gonna be a great charge. And oh yeah, look at all that just took out the entire back of this unit, and they're already wavering. Great charge by Captain Visible, I commend thee. And he's getting another charge right in the back of my men. But uh, you know, thanks for coming out, Captain Invisible. You really helped me out there. <laughs> I joke. Over here, I got a great charge on the back of these uh, dismounted Trevor Knights. And um, actually, that was not a great charge. Okay, that guy just goes flying. He's airborne. He can't even touch the ground <laughs> until he lands. <laughs> Alrighty then. And then over here, we have my general's bodyguard going to a noble charge. Hey, this one actually, they use their lances. Look, they actually did a cav unit. And these aventures stand no chance. Getting pushed to the side like you're like the older sibling in a family when the little sibling who's like five year old made a macaroni painting that he ate. Um, I don't know what that just was supposed to say, but you got the gist. <laughs> the gist of it. Over here we have routing by the British Axemen, which is disappointing, to say the least, but uh, we have Captain Visible just pushing through these poor Russian men. I've completely pretty much surrounded all the units of uh, France and I'm just routing them except for some minor routing anyway. Uh, he charges into my poor old clergyman, literally killing them, but you know, their crosses are, it's a blunt weapon, I will kill you <laughs> with the Holy Lord, was probably their words, because these French run archers. Okay, and then over here, it's just um, these poor sword brethren route, um, so sad as they fight these shiver knights with their plate armor. But I got my cab going in, the charge, took out some uh, uh, gunmen on my way, and then now we just took out them. So good job, my Rita Beater are probably my new favorite unit in the game because they just own everything. They're like the greatest cab ever, I love them. Um, I love them more than I love Captain Invisible as my teammate. Sorry, Captain. Uh, not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry at all, actually. I hope you cry about it. I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll wipe your tears. Not squeak, squeak as I rub them away. And I give you a bro hug. Um, I'm gonna stop talking about this. <laughs> He's done a dismount voir, the last line of defense for piking shot, but, uh, I have completely eradicated the French anyway. So, it He's pretty much on his own on the, at this point. It's down to him, and Captain Visible Hut can do this on his own anyway. He's just flanking around and destroying these poor dismounted Devoir. Good job, Pike. I mean, Captain Visible. Good job, Pike, at losing. Good job at it. You let me win. <laughs> you see, Pike was actually going to beat us, but then he let us win because he didn't want us to feel bad. <laughs> And my general's bodyguard, which is ironically not even that hurt at all after all the fighting it's done, is going in for another noble charge with their great sexy armor. So they're, they're distracted by the great lookingness of the men, and they had to turn away so they could fight, but they couldn't fight, so they got killed. Um, I'm not making much sense today, and we got some admitting of defeat, the defeat of admitting, and that is pretty much the game. We have uh, a one, a clear victory. Let's see, I got 936 kills and 124 captures. Uh, likewise, my opponent got 7, I mean my ally, not opponent, Captain Visual getting 703 and 160 captures, so we both did really well, but I did better. <laughs> yeah, that's my life of doing better. Uh, Papal uh, Piking Shot getting 490 kills and 13 captures, not the greatest match, it's probably just a bad match, I mean he was using Russia, we're well, not even renamed Russia, just um... Novgord, right? Yeah, Novgord. And then France over here by Mr. 
Cubsa. Uh, France getting 587 captures. I forgot to set the recording so you can punch me in the face after I finish this. Please don't, actually. That would hurt. Uh, <laughs> and you can't because you can't find me. <laughs> anyway, let's look at what I did here. I got 145 kills with my general's bodyguard. Probably a bunch of aventuras that I killed. My Ritabuter getting 83, 71, 64, and 105. Great job by them. My favorite cav unit ever. <laughs> I love them. My um, crossbows getting decent amount of kills, uh, 30s, 20s. My ha Howl Bruder getting 87 kills, so good job for that unit. Oh my god, I just belched there. Good job to that unit. My clergyman getting 7. Yeah, clergyman! You did it! <laughs> He's a great clergyman. My spearman getting 37, so they did stuff. My dismounted reader getting 61 and 34, not too shabby. It was pretty much all down to my mounted Rudibuter, which did a fantastic job as my new favorite unit. Look, 64 prisoners, too. This unit got like a billion kills, or actually 169. Uh, hey, 69. Uh, <laughs> but that, that, that was the battle, so good job to my opponent, Captain Invisible. Good game to Pike and Shot and Mr. Cubson. And great job to me, because I did the best. Yay, arrogance! I'm trying not to be arrogant, but, you know, I won. I'm sorry. I have to start uploading when I lose more. Um, I'll try and do that. I'll re I really will. Ne next game I lose, that's actually, like, like watchable or someone doesn't quit, I promise I will upload when I lose. Because I want you guys to see that I, I fail, too. And on that note of happiness, I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Every comment and every like and every subscription counts to me. It makes me feel so, so special. So I will see you guys next time. Probably with the Holy Roman Vampire campaign. Hey, Teutonic people. Hey, it matches. I guess not. Maybe not. I'll see you guys next time.